excited to have you and to see you. <laughs> I'm excited to have you in Ghana. Yes, ma'am. At the convention of Saints 22. Yes. I'm so glad to be here. So now, tell us, uh, which demands does your role as Royal House First Lady impose on you in organizing Convention of Saints 2012? Well, when it comes to Convention of Saints, I look at the logistics. Okay. And um, when we talk about logistics, anything that has to do with purchasing, yeah. anything that has to do with the needs of the guests, yeah. anything that has to do with the guests getting comfortable, yeah. anything that has to do with food, yeah. that has to do with decoration, wow. I mean anything that has to do with a woman's duty, yeah. I'm in charge of it all. Mommy, it, so, it's too much, you know? It is. It is but <laughs> because I've been watching, you are too busy uh, everywhere. It looks like over the years, the Lord has given me strength. Yes. The Lord has equipped me. Yeah. The Lord has trained me Amen. for that job. Amen. So you were really looking forward for 2012 convention. I, I, every year I look forward for convention. And hosting all of us from different parts of the world. Wow. That's from great. Holland, yes. from America, yeah. from South Africa, Africa yes. from the UK, yeah. from Nigeria, yeah. from Togo, wow. Switzerland, I mean everyone. Wow, everywhere. great job, great job, great job. So uh, did you foresee all the blessings and glory around Royal House long before this time? Well, I personally have been one person that has been faith-minded. Okay. I've always believed that God can do it. We have a problem that if God gives you a load, yes. he gives you something to help you carry the load. Amen. So, once God has spoken, yeah. that we needed to go into building the church, yeah. we needed to go into a convention of sin. Yeah. The church started with 12 people, mm -hmm. but I believe with all my heart that the Lord was actually going to do But to tell you the truth, He surprised me. Amen. Beyond my imagination. Amen. Beyond what I told him to do. I knew He was going to do it. Yes. But I didn't know it was going to be that big. God is us. God is us. So, Mommy, uh, can you tell our listeners uh, what it takes to be in your position as the wife of uh, Apostle General? Reverend Anchor and mother of this great church. Well, the job is. So, your role as a, as a wife and your role as a mother. Yes. Well, just like you said, I'm a mother. Yeah. I'm a wife. Yes. Until recently, I was also a student. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm a mother in my home. Yes. And then a mother in the church. Yes. And I'm also the. President of our women's organization, yes, Royal Ladies. Royal Ladies. Yes. We saw the women's choir sing yes, to yes, yes. And this is the very first time they've sung our convention of saints. Amen. This is the very first time. It's a very, very demanding job. Yes. And um, once you become a mother, you become a role model. Yes, okay. As a role model, mm -hmm. you can have your way. Yes. I always tell people there's no way I can decide. I want to come out of my marriage. Then no way I can say I want a divorce. Yes. I don't own myself anymore. Amen. There are tens mm. and thousands Speak. of other young ladies and other women who are looking up to me. Yes. They are looking up to me for their salvation. Mm -hmm. They are looking up to me for their revival. Mm -hmm. They are looking up to me for their deliverance. Yes. Any decision I take, yes, either positively or negatively, affects yes. them. Yes. And that's it only affect them. It also affects their children. Exactly. So God has placed me in a position where I must know I have come too far to return. Yes. If I'm wearing a clothing, I want to wear something. I'm not thinking about myself. Yes. I'm thinking about the main people who are looking at me. Exactly, exactly. If I want to do anything, talk, misbehave, yeah. do anything, <laughs> speak to my husband, whatever it is, I'm looking at the people yes. who are looking up to me. Yes. So sometimes it's a very, very demanding role. role. Yes. You don't have a life of your own. There's yes. nothing like privacy at all. In the kind of job I have, there's no privacy. People call you at all times. Mm -hmm. People walk into your home. Yes. Because they can see yes. Their problems yes. And you need to do it. So 
people look at us and they look at us today. Yes. And all they desire is they want we, to be like us. But they don't know. If you can go through the sacrifices. My God, my God, my God, my God. I think it has not been very easy, Mami. I don't think so. No, it hasn't been easy. Also, what, what, what do you have to say to so many women that will, will be listening to this podcast? First, I want to speak to pastors' wives. Go on. Wives of apostles. Yes. Our job is a demanding job. It is. Our job is one thing that once you put your hand into it, yes, there's no turning back. Okay. But I want to tell every pastor's wife yes. that it's one job where you do and you do it very well, mm -hmm. the Lord blesses you. There are so many things today I don't buy. Yes. I don't pay for my nails. Yes. I don't pay for my hair. Yes. Sometimes I don't pay for my shoes. Yes. Why? Because I am there for the people. Amen. After I've seen you off, yes. there are people who have been waiting for me. Yes. Waiting for housing. Yes. Waiting for money to go to school. Yes. Waiting for groceries to go to school. Waiting. So if you are there and you're a pastor's wife, yes. I want you to know that it is a job God has called you to. Yes. Yes. You didn't call yourself. Do it and do it well. And then God will bless you. And I want to talk to every woman out there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when we say we are, we are women, yeah. people do not understand. Okay. I always tell women everywhere that we go to that if you talk about women, yeah. you are talking about the church. Amen. Explain that to us, man. I will. Yes. Women are the church. I go to a lot of places and I hear people say, women go to prayer meetings too much. Women go to all nights too much. Yeah. Women are 90 or 95 percent in the church. Yeah. Why not? We are the church. Yes, amen. When the Bible is describing the husband, the Bible puts the husband at par yes. with Jesus Christ. Yes. And it says, woman, you have a head. Yes. You have a covering. Yes. Your covering is your husband. Yes, Just as the way you honor Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. honor your husband in the same way. Amen. And then the Bible also, in the same way, yes. he compares the, the husband, husband yes. to love the wife. The husband to Jesus Christ. Okay. He says, husband, yes. love your wife just as Christ. Christ loves the church. Yes, so if God is saying, or the Bible is saying, that husband, love your wives. Mm -hmm. Wives, submit to your husband yes. just like you submit to the Lord. Yes. In other words, if you take the husband, yes. I did mathematics. <laughs> God, mommy. It will be equal to Jesus Christ. In the same way, Husbands, love your wives yes. just as Christ loved the church. Okay. So in looking at the equation, we would say the church is not the woman. Are you talking about church? Amen. Church is the woman. Amen. My darling, wherever you are, yes. I want you to know that you are the church. The church. When you wake up on Sunday morning and you are going to church, I want you to know that the church depends on you. The growth of the church depends on you. Yes. The success of the church depends on you. The revival of the church depends on you. The increase of the church depends on you. Woman, you are the church. Amen, 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 amen. This is a very powerful word of encouragement coming from Mama Rita Ankara. Uh, this is uh, the Convention of Saints 2012. Here in Accra, every woman out there, pastor's wife, listening to this, bishop's wife and apostle's wives, I think we have a lot to learn. And I believe that God has positioned 
women of honor, mothers like this, to teach us what we do not know. Let me thank you once again. Now, I would want you to tell us uh, which virtue or qualities are vital for achieving the success and fame God has given you and your husband. Number one, humility. Hey, speak. Number two, respect. respect. And when I talk about respect, respecting everybody. Yes. Respecting the rich, respecting the poor. Yes. Respecting the lettered, yes. respecting the lettered. Respecting the old, yes. respecting the young. Yes. Sometimes we make mistakes as women, as personal lives, sometimes as cautious. Yeah. We want to look at who comes to church with the best of clothes? <laughs> who comes to church with the best of cars? Yeah. Who comes to church with a lot? Who, who is there who's paying the biggest price? Uh -huh. And then we look out and we respect those people. Yeah. I have seen people, my darling, yeah. walk into our churches with nothing. Hmm. I see people walk into the doors of our church yes. with no car. Yes. People seek wretched. Could not be. I've heard lots of testimonies. Forget. Today you look at them, yes, and they are one of the highest type beings. Yes, amen. So don't ever make oh. a mistake and oh, look no, no. at people today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is what our team says. Eyes have no seen. Seen, yes. You haven't seen the future of that person. Yes. Yes, yes. You have yes. seen this tomorrow. Yes. You only see him today. Yes. But I want you to know. You will look at the person tomorrow and you will salute the person. Amen. You will look at the person tomorrow and you call the person my oh. You will see that same person tomorrow yes. and you call him sir. <laughs> so you made mention of humility. I make mention of humility. And respect. I'm looking at respect. Mm -hmm. And I'm also looking at love. Love. First, love for Christ. Okay. Love for Christ. Okay. Love for humanity. With the kind of job we are doing, yeah. if you don't love or you don't have the virtue of love, yes. if you don't have the gift of love, yes. it will be very difficult. How do you embrace a poor person that has come into the church? Mm. It's true. We come to church and we say, give somebody a holy kiss. Yes. If the person is wretchedly dressed, how do you give that person a yes. hug, yes. a kiss? Yes. So number one, love. Love. Love to humanity and yes. then love to Jesus Christ. Amen. I've been around for a while. Okay. I've been born again for about 30 years. Wow. I see such pretenders. Let me speak. Such pretenders. If you love the Lord, you love the Lord at all times. Yes. You love the Lord in the closet. Yes. You love the Lord in the open. Exactly. I don't believe in believers yes. who will come to church and pretend they love the Lord. Yeah. They will come to church, pretend they are born again. Come to church, pretend that they are. <laughs> and then outside the walls of the church, there's yeah, something else. else. Yes. Walk like the devil, talk like the devil, move like the devil. If you love the Lord, yes. love the Lord at all times. I love the Lord with such passion. Amen. Yes, I can see. I am genuine about loving him. Yes. And we not only you, you and your husband. Apostle Jenna, I love the Lord so much. We can see it and the way he worships. And you also. And that is the reason why also your sons and daughters all are just delivering that to first time. Another virtue yes. is unforgiveness. Unforgiveness. In this job, yes. People want it. The people you love, yeah. the people who are closer to you, yeah. want it. You. Yeah. In our diet, we say it is babies that we be yeah. in the cloth of their mothers. It's true. After they weave it on your cloth, you remove it, wash it off, and life continues. Yeah. Please. I am teaching every person out there. Yeah. Learn to let go. Yes. Learn to bring bitterness out of you. Yes. Learn to forgive people. Yeah. 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 I have moved through these things. Yeah. And, I'm yeah. and then the last thing. Yeah. 
Worship. Yes, 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 yes. I go to a lot of churches. <sighs> and men and women of course stay in their offices. And worship is going on. <laughs> and then nobody's in their churches. <laughs> worship God. Pull down their anointing. And the bishops are working. <laughs> no. And this is one. One of the first things I was talking about, humility. Yes. Being a humble before God. Yes. Worship God in the presence of everybody. Worship God in the presence of your enemy, in, in the presence of your members. Yes. And as you do it, you teach them the virtue of love. Worship. worship. When you are just, you see, I'm looking at you, I can really see Jesus in your eyes. Jesus. Now, uh, about Convention 2012, somebody out there listening to us, this is 2012 Convention of Saint, and we are having Mama Rita Ankara uh, as our guest in Radio Voice of Niger and also on Majesty Christian Television Network. So in case you want maybe to contact Mama Rita, Mama, how would they contact you? Well, um, I'm on maybe Facebook. Email. Yeah, you I'm on Facebook. Facebook. Um, yeah. And then email me mm -hmm. Mama Rita K. A lot of people make the mistake and leave the K. Yeah. So it's M A M A yeah. R I T A. Yeah. And then K. Yeah. As in Kate. K as in Kate. Yeah. At yahoo.com. At yahoo.com. So simple. Mama Rita K. Yeah. Maybe you are a lady out there, maybe you are a pastor's wife out there, and you just need a motherly cancer. Contact Mama Rita at the said email address or uh, Facebook, and I believe she's a loving mother. We will, she, will, she will cancel you. So don't hide any of your, uh, what do I call it, any of your, don't hide your pain, don't hide your bitterness. She is a mother you can lean on her shoulder and cry. Is it not? Right. And I want to tell them out there. Tell them, tell us. I, I believe in this kind of work we are doing. Nobody can stand in an island. You yes. can stand on your own. Yes. If you need help, seek help. Amen. There are people around that can help you. Yes. I always tell the young people, with some of us, we never had them. Yes. Yes. We never had mothers. We never had people. We saw your mother yesterday, bulldozer, they call her. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about when I became born again. Yeah. At the time I became born again, I didn't have anybody to look up to. She came into my life. Somehow, yeah. You know, yeah. much later. Yeah. But that time I was growing up. Yeah. We were all youngsters. Yes. The grown ups were left in the Orthodox churches. Okay. In the traditional churches. Yeah. And we said we have had this new craze. Yeah. New craze of falling in love with Jesus. Yeah. New craze of speaking in tongues. Yeah. New craze of salvation. Yeah. And it was so new in our families. And there was just no one to look up to. Today there are mothers and fathers who are born again. Yes. Successful mothers and fathers. Yes. Amen. Amen. Okay, Marita, about convention 2012, how long did it take you to organize all of this? Well, because we've been doing it year after year, some of the things come very easy for us. Okay. Like organizing the choir. Yeah. We already have 12 choirs that minister, yeah. you know, Sunday after Sunday and Tuesday after Tuesday. So organizing them is quite easy. Yeah. We have the ushers and who are already doing their work. Yeah. So organizing them is a bit easy. Uh -huh. the, like I'm saying, this is something we've been doing over the years. So it wasn't it's not so difficult. No, it's not so difficult. Some time ago we would take six months to organize, four months to organize. But now I think it takes us weeks. So how so how, how did you manage to be involved in all of this? Because I've seen you going around doing all of these things. How did you manage to get involved in every aspect of it? I say church, just like the home. <laughs> a mother's home is a mother's duty. Yeah. Is um, what word do I use? You know, multi. Yeah, multi. Yes. A mother is washing. Yeah. A mother is bathing babies. Yeah. yeah. A mother is cooking. Yes. A mother is 
mother is ironing, her yes. mother is ironing, her yeah. mother is seeing to the homework yes. of the children. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's something we do spontaneously. as mothers, yes. spontaneously. Yes. Yes. Nobody tells you, I'm cooking, so the baby is crying, yeah. we don't have to, we do it. So just like I do in my home, yeah. it comes so natural for me. <laughs> I'm seeing to the protocol, I'm seeing to the choir, I'm seeing to the family. <laughs> It's the same rule I'm playing. <laughs> mommy the mommy. So now what's your final uh, before we sign off? What 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 advice do you have for every woman have watched it? Not only the pastor's wife, because your know, first advice was to the minister's wives. Now to just the normal women who come to church. Instead of just addressing the women. I want to address everybody. Okay. Anybody out there that you have lost hope. Yeah. Anybody out there that you think that God has forgotten about you. Yeah. I want you to know that at the end of the tunnel, yeah. there is light. Amen. My darling, don't give up. Don't give up. There's hope. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that help is coming. Mm -hmm. Don't give up yet. Hold on a little more. Yes. If you are out there and you haven't met my Jesus, mm. if you are out there and you haven't met my lover, yes. if you are out there and you haven't met my boyfriend, yes. I am here to introduce the man that came into my life and changed everything about me. That man is Jesus. If you meet this man, he will change your life. If you have already met him, hold on to him. Yes. I want you to know that they will be breaking soon. Amen. Your miracle is coming. It's coming. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep going. Okay. You have somebody, a mother here talking to you. Yes. My name is Mama Rita. Mama Rita. And I love you. Thank you, Mama. So you told us about your, your course. You are studying again. No, I... Is Mama well, becoming a doctor? I did my first degree. After I've had my fortune. Yeah, okay. Um, after the age of 40. And then after my first degree, um, I went ahead to do my master's. Amen. And my husband shows me the green light. I will go ahead and do my PhD. Wow. He hasn't given me the green ahead yet. Wow. 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 I think, mommy, you are marching, you are going to the White House. Is it White House you call it? White House. Is it White House you call it here? Yeah, the castle. Yeah, the castle. See, mommy, you are watching over there. I receive it. Well, give me back. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you for being with us, and uh, well, thank you for hosting us as well. And uh, we are proud to have you as uh, our role model. So you are a model to every one of us. And thank you for that role, and may God continue to enrich you. Thank you, Pastor Clinton, Ghana. You are forever welcome to Ghana. Yes, ma'am. In Ghana, we say, Akwa. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Be here is holidays. Yes. And then it's also a spiritual revival. Yes. Have a lot of rest. Thank you, ma'am. Because I know there's work out there. Yes, a lot. A lot. God bless you. Thank you, mommy. I love you so much. This is mommy. Thank you. And in case somebody out there, you still want to make contact with Mama Rita, go online, call us, and also send email through any of the uh, links that uh, we will display. God richly bless you. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh